Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I went ahead and played with it a little more today and uh, figured out how to get the logos to pop out, how to upload them to Trading Paints, how to get the car to show up properly. Uh, everything works like a charm on GIMP. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get back to it. So I went ahead and painted the car, put the logos on it. Um, flatten everything down as far as the base paint and the logos go because after messing with it for a while I finally figured out how the fastest way it was to do it right when I was wrapping it up. So I'll go ahead and share uh, what took me about two and a half hours to figure out as the fastest way. So once you have your paint down, everything is down to where you want it to be, and you're satisfied with the car, flatten all of your uh, layers and then your folders you know, like if you have this flatten it all down or you have one car so man it's just targo so I'm gonna leave it on for the moment that we can see it because as long as you don't have the wire on none of this stuff matters anyway when you upload it uh, alright so let's go ahead and shut the logos off for a moment and we're gonna take the white and we're gonna make it chrome and the flat or the black we're gonna make like a flattish color okay so uh, mine with me too i'm a little like thick i don't know so we're gonna select the select all tool hold shift and we're gonna take everything that's white here and we're gonna paint it chrome right so open this up, um, I've already shut off the parts and the, the alpha blue, it, like I said earlier, it doesn't matter with this stuff. Yep. Uh, go ahead and... Alright, so I went ahead and messed up. Painted that red, we don't want that red. So back it up real quick, Control Z. So now we're back to white. Make sure that you're selecting what you want to paint red, right? Then I'm going to go ahead and invert this. So now I'm going to have everything that's black. Increase the size on this. We're going to erase everything that's black. Okay. This will help make your life easier down the road. And then uh, we'll go ahead and Export this as uh, car spec, right? Export it to iRacing. Well, our computer, and then iRacing will pick it up. Yep. So we're in iRacing. We're gonna hit Control R. Now everything is chrome. Well, fret about the logos. We'll get to it here in a bit. So now uh, the black, I want black to be like eight, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and select off of that. Uh, make sure we highlight the base, the black, which it's selecting everything that's black, which is great. From up here, turn this layer on, and then we're going to go ahead and dump it as green because we're in that. Roughness one. And add a, this one. Okay, so I went ahead and painted everything, that's fine. It's not a big deal. But right off the rip, I know that I don't want the green to be as severe as it is in uh high racing. I got to want flat flat, so let's go ahead and go with like a 30. Control E, shortcut to export over to that last file as long as you're in the spec. Come into iRacing. Right. And we'll hit Control R. Now our black's turning a flat. You can see it on the roof, right? And now we're going to come back and uh, GIMP. Alright, 
probably shut that off for a minute. Uh, we're going to turn our logos on. So, with the logos, uh, after messing around with this for uh, two and a half hours, I figured out, again, the fastest way to do it afterwards, which is kind of frustrating, but I don't, I don't see anyone else doing that. So, select the logo, layer, and then we're going to select not this, because that's just that logo. We're going to select off of it. So we've selected everything that's not the logo, basically. Because if you shut this off, you have all this transparency, so it'll pick up everything around it. Okay, and we're not going to worry about any of this right now because it's in like the card detail or the color change decals. Um, feel free to turn that back on uh, as long as you have the logo layer. Now we're going to select an invert. So now we've picked everything in the middle, where if we go to erase, we're going to erase all the logos. Control Z, okay. Come back up and turn on your spec map, okay. Go ahead and turn this down a little bit, not that much. And we're going to select circle. So now that we have the circle, um, our numbers, like this is the side of the car that you can see right now, so this is the side of the car we're going to worry about. Now, everything that's chrome, like, uh, numbers, we want that to be, I want that to be able to be seen really good. So what I'm going to do is, on this layer, I'm going to erase that red. And I'm going to go ahead and just erase it off the X as well, because we're going to want that, well, I'm going to want that to show. And then, this is already, um, like, not chrome, but I'm going to want this chrome, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, too. So, come in here, this is our green layer. Now, we still have everything selected, so... What we want to do is, since this is an opacity of 30, it's not going to show the way we want it to. Like if we export this right now, Control E, you can do that with everything selected as well. Go back into eye racing, Control R, and you can see how like that number is not as vivid as it needs to be, in my opinion. And once the sun hits it, when you go around the track. It's not going to be as vivid either. So, come back into GIMP. This base layer, we're going to create a new layer on top of it. This one's going to be 100% opacity. Grab our paint tool. Uh, pick your green. Again, middle of the spectrum, all the way to the top right. And then, just paint that in. We're going to go ahead and hit the X as well, because I want that to be the same way as the number. Holds of Honor, and we'll go ahead and do the Emerald Coist Coins logo the same way. And then we'll Control E it, that'll automatically export to that spec, or you can always export to the car or as to get that spec layer. Now, real quick, we're going to go ahead and come over. Back in the eye racing so you can see the difference. Roll R. Now that number pops out a little bit better. That's what we're going for with this. We want, like, I want the chrome to be chrome. And then you put stickers over top of it. Or, you know, back in the day they used to paint that stuff. So, I mean, that's pretty basic. Now, the hood logo, for instance, you do the same thing. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that, though, because right now we only selected the outline of it. So if you wanted to select the inside of it, you could click your your tool up here, your wizard tool, go back in your logo, and then hold the shift button and click the inside of it as well. Now that's going to select that, too. So when you come up here and turn your layer back on, should have. It might not have. If it didn't, I'll show you the different way. Uh, click the red. Erase. 
Yeah, it did. So, erase everything that's red that you don't want, right? And then, we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and paint that green real quick. Again, wrong layer. So, you pick the 100% opacity one. Now that's going to be green, but everything's going to show up green, like, or, uh, flat. So I'll show you that real quick in iRacing. You can see that that whole section is white, so if you want to do that type of designs, you can. You know, that's another way to do it. Um, so, I'm going to go back into GIMP real quick, and I'm not trying to get that that way, so select the off like select off of that stuff come down in the logos uh, select the wizard tool select the inside of it and you can go through and hit every one of those if you wanted to to make sure that like the o and the u isn't showing come up here and then um want that to stay that color like that chrome so we're going to just go ahead and fill that in red. Like that. Now you have the outside of it, right? Control E will export it to the computer. Go to iRacing. And Control R. So now that hood's back to a normalish color, right? Now the only trick to this, and this is where it kind of sucks in a sense, is the headlights. If you don't want the headlights to be the color they are, you have to literally zoom in, and then it's on the chrome channel, the, the red chrome, right? So if you were to go in here and this as fast as I can so you don't have uh, watch my pain and suffering by clicking this. Maybe. Select that. Turn on the red. And then just simply erase it. Alright. Control E to export it out. Go to iRacing. Control R. I don't know if it really made a difference or not. So you can mess with that stuff to what you want to do. Um, I don't think it really messes with it because it's a layer that Trading Paints puts over the car. Like, you can't make the headlight not be there. So, again, that's how you do it that way. And then what we're going to go ahead and do real quick is I'm going to bring out my Trading Paints. Like I've already put it in there. So that's what I was gonna run. Um, like if you, what you do is, again, this is for a custom number. We're gonna uh, actually before we do that, I'm gonna show you one more thing. So now this is like where the files get saved on your computer in iRacing. Uh, paint and then you have these cars and like honestly before you do all this you should delete everyone's cars out of the car that you're working on like this is the Mustang for the Cup Series so it's saved as Ford Mustang 2019 right delete those out start working on your paint get everything locked in and then when you go uh, export uh, mess with like the, the logos and stuff everything is just easy for you so now when you upload the trading paints this is the car so like the base car <clears throat> and then this is the spec targa well you have to like i have to run it through the computer at for this targa to create the mip file that you need for trading paints so make sure that you save this like I went ahead and cut it, okay, and then I came into my pictures, over to where the car is saved,
and then I go I just pasted it in there so it's already there so this is the car that I'm running like the base scheme for that car and then this is the the file that goes over top of it to make a chrome and whatnot so since I know where that is um like where'd it go Creating paints I'm gonna choose the paint put any custom number if you have it if not you can do it with a no number select the file and then you go into your pictures or wherever you saved it like the path that I have to go to to get to the car so the white and black is the car that I made and I drop that in there so now the car is like a flat color if you open trading paints and iRacing's running it's gonna load a flat color and then you gotta click your drop down and the drop down for the no number is the same as the drop down for the number Use paint, see it, add spec map. Come back into your custom number or whatever one you're working with. Click the drop down, click add spec map, and then that MIP file, it's gonna go to like the last folder that you had open. So me having the Targa and the MIP that I showed you a second ago in the same folder makes it a ton easier to find this. So this is that spec map from earlier upload that in there now it's not going to show on here because like it's just it's like uh if you were to add a special layer in there okay so now that that's loaded in i'm gonna go ahead and open up trading paints and I'm probably not going to see it because i have game capture so Trading Paints is loading, searching for the cars on track. And luckily since there's only a mine on track, I don't have to worry about it taking forever. And then it went ahead and loaded. So as you can see, you have like everything cut out to where you want it, where I want it. Like the Ghostbuster logo on the side's chrome. And in order to get that chrome, like literally all I had to do was select that logo layer, select off of the logos, hit invert, so now you're only picking that logo back up. And then this one, since it's still 100%, you can just paint right over it. You just paint that red and in iRacing, after you do all of that through trading paints, it comes out that chrome color. So that's the final part of that walkthrough from earlier. Hopefully this helps. Um, and if you have a question, go ahead and drop it in the comments. I was trying to respond to them a little bit earlier uh, from the last video. But that's the, that's the end of it. So I think the hardest part of this whole thing is uh, figuring out how you want the scheme to look. And then after that, it's relatively easy. So thanks for watching. Um, have a wonderful time, guys. See ya.